Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to combine columns in Excel with a space. Excel is popular as a spreadsheet application, but it is also used to maintain data sets, uh, databases, and lists. When working with tables or with a data set, you may need to combine multiple columns into a single column. When doing so, it is a good idea to use a delimiter so that the distinction between the values is evident. One such delimiter can be used is a space. In this example, I have a title, first name and last name, and I want to combine all three into a single column using a space as a delimiter. So there are three ways in which this can be done. The first is using the ampersand operator. So I'll type in equal sign select the first value, then ampersand is the join operator, and then I'm going to put a set of double quotes with a space in, in between to indicate I want to join a space as well, then ampersand and the next value, ampersand and another space, and then ampersand again and the last value, and then say enter. So now you can see that all three have been combined with a space in between. I can then drag this down to the rest of the column. So this is one way of doing it. I'll delete this and we'll look at the second way. The second way is to use the concat function. This joins uh, pieces of text together. So I'll select the first string or the first text which is in the first column, then comma. Now I want to add a space. So again double quotes with a space in between. Then I'll select the second value, then again space, and the third value and close brackets and I have the uh, values all joined together with a space in between. Then drag down the fill handle so that the formula is copied to the rest of the column. Now, the third way of doing this is to use the text join function. So in this, the text join function takes a delimiter as the first argument, so I don't need to specify it multiple times. Now, the next argument is whether I want to ignore empty cells. I'm going to say true in case any of the columns have blank values. And then I need to just give the pieces of text to be strung together using a comma as to separate the values and close and say enter. So this also has the same effect as the other methods and I can just drag this down to the rest of the column. So these are three ways in which you can combine columns in Excel with a space.